Good watching. Happy New Year. First stream of the year. And of course, every Tuesday we stream Assassin's Creed Valhalla, at least for the time being, because of course, 2023 means the game is dead. It's over. Um, there are still some items being released, like one armor set that I'm uh, rocking right here. We'll be showing the mounts and stuff as well. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. Hope, uh, yeah, you have a lovely new year as well. And uh, yeah, some things never change, of course. 2023, but people are still like, this is the best AC game ever. No, Fall of Sucks! So yeah, some things never change. I, I think this armor looks pretty cool. It's based on Monster Hunter World. Um, I, like, I'm not buying this myself. Because there's nothing to do in the game, of course. Um, so, um, I, yeah, I got a code from Ubisoft for some Helix credits. I think, like, sometimes I, like, reached out to them. Hey, we want to, like, show all the new items, period, so free and paid on the channel. Do you have some Helix credits? And then they sometimes send over some codes, so otherwise it will be a very expensive uh, stream every week. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Hope you had a great new year. See more people joining in the chat. I want to show you something first that I actually received from Secret Labs. And uh, maybe you can already guess it. I'm going to show you. Oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, move the microphone like this. It's an Assassin's Creed chair. It has been out for some time, but uh, you can like see I love the red logo. Like red is of course my favorite color. So having the AZ logo there. Let's turn it around. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Pretty great chair. I want to thank Secret Labs for or Secret Lab, I should say. It's also here on the pillow. For sending it my way, uh, we'll be posting a Instagram post about it as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Great way to, to start the stream here. Um, I actually looked up some trophies that I still miss, so want to be getting them as well. Ah, hope everyone is doing well. Let's see. That chair and table too from Secret Lab. Nice! As VR. Great to hear. Okay, let's of course get the show on the road here. Let's see what Red Eye is selling. And then we're also gonna check on that weekly item you can get. I might even show two because we of course did not stream last week. It was Christmas. And we are, maybe as you already noticed, slow on content. We're kind of... This is the first time that we're doing that actually. Where Joyce, Dennis and I are all on a break. Usually it's like... Joyce is then gone for like a week or two, then Dennis is away for a week or two, then I'm away for a week or two. So we can still, uh, yeah, get the show, uh, I should not say the show on the road for the second time. No, still get the content out to you. But uh, yeah, it's kind of the end of the year. Everyone was winding down. So we fought. We were also like kind of, we just had God of War, God of Nights. Like we had a ton of stuff. So we were like, okay, let's also take it easy. And then come back swinging because 2023 is going to be crazy, as you know. So we got the Izu Knight Hood. The Shattered Destroyer, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, and the Blood Elf Oracle Cloak that I don't have. So we're going to buy that. This striking look coupled with an efficient design. Yes, Thank Red. I think I heard you say that before. A couple of times already. But yeah, I agree. It uh, probably looks pretty cool. Let's uh, give it a quick look. It's, of course, kind of weird on this sort of beast armor, but hey. We can still kind of enjoy the design here. I think it looks kind of nice. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I got it, Dunone. Got it. Hey, Ragnar, good to see you as well. Good to see everyone there on Twitch. Is this outfit free to get? Of course, nothing in life is free, especially in Valhalla. No, it's a, it's a paid armor set, sadly. But it's also like a, a promotion they are doing with uh, Monster Hunter. There is actually another Monster Hunter armor coming as well that already got leaked. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> okay, that one is over here. And this one lets you... Uh, here, I uh, think the chest. Breathe fire when using the battle cry ability. Okay. Why not? So, yeah, this I think the... Oh, no, they're still... They should still be able... They should still be launching the... 
Iron Man armor as well. But we, of course, all know the Iron Man armor is not uh, a thing anymore. It's kind of crazy, though, I gotta say. Because um, the Destiny items were, of course... Like, you got two uh, armor sets for that. You got the Lord Shax and the Saint-14. And here they're selling the Monster Hunter uh, armor sets as, like, a separate item. But... And that's, I think, why, and that's why th that was kind of the issue, or, like, not the issue. Some people got these through these. So, maybe if we're lucky, we can also get one item piece from that. Loot box. No! Okay, this is the first tattoo that I got. The first tattoo that I got from, from this Hekka chest. Because if we go back, if we go... I've been playing Christ Scorts really, really good. Uh, almost finished. Uh, let's see if I go to Valhalla. Because if we go here, I can, we can do it again. We can open another one. This one, this is the one I got, like, from last week's chest. Okay, are we, are we opening it? Oh, no, oh, spoilers. I got a freaking horse out of a chest. And that was from the Einar set. For some reason, I, I did not get that one yet. But yeah, that's kind of cool to get like a horse from that. But yeah, that's the first tattoo. My uh, stream luck. Maybe 2023 will not be a, a lucky year. But I uh, hope that's not the case. Okay, let's real quick show you the mount and the bird. Or actually, the bird. It's like a freaking dinosaur that you got as a bird skin. Which is kind of cool. The armor is since... Uh, this Cartius is coming in. This armor is here since last week. Hey, sorry about that. Yeah, I've not been keeping track. When they're like, hey, this is the final update. What the heck? I got a panda. <laughs> a giant panda. I don't know where I work. <laughs> okay, this is the one. Okay, that sounds pretty crazy. I'm gonna, like, turn up the vol volume a bit. Okay, don't... Don't be... I'm gonna... I have to turn up the volume a bit. That doesn't sound like a, po a panda to me. Okay, that sounds pretty... Pretty scary. Pretty scary mount. Nothing more. So the panda is not out I yet, right? Who, who, who got the, the panda? Wait, where's the panda from? I, I don't know either! Oh wait, I, I didn't get the, the dinosaur, uh, sort of. So I think it's like a panther, right? They Or like a, a cougar that they changed to this very scary... Very scary mount. N not, a fa not really a fan. Like, I, I like that it's like completely different. Uh, this one. I think this, this like, might be like my favorite bird skin. That they're now launching when there's no content left. Hey. Hello? We're stuck. Okay, there we go. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Do people really equip those mines uh, unironically? Like, the problem, of course, here is that we have to go to the stable each time. Like, I, I really hope that the next game just gives us, like, the, the menu option, like Origins and Odyssey. But I think this, this freaking bird skin is amazing. Looks really, really good. So, yeah, in, in that case, I, I kind of get that they did not include, like, a second armor in this pack. Because the mount and the, the bird skin, or, like, the dinosaur, I should say, look really, really good. Um, but, yeah, still, it's, uh, it's an interesting choice. Uh, we also got some new weapons. The Garen Hatchet. I think this is also like the, the, the final sort of things that they're adding. All hits will deal critical damage after hitting an enemy with a sprint attack. But yeah, that's only for 5 seconds. Still, that's a pretty nice start of the, of the combo. All hits will deal critical damage after hitting an enemy with a special attack. And that's also for 5 seconds. But you'll be impaling that enemy, so I don't think you can really use the 5 seconds from the from the attack but yeah let, let's uh, kill the the enemies that we've been killing for two years now but it's the first time that I'm doing the the daily contracts here in 2023 so uh, maybe that should make it a little more exciting but again I got some fun activities for us plant as well 
Dave, you, you probably already did if you got the, the platinum trophy in uh, Valhalla. But that I, like, never paid attention to. And, yeah, I want to save for occasions like this. So, let's go to the map. Let's see where those freaking Joms uh, Viking go. That's, of course, the, the weekly. So, we should be going here. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant. Do really be... Ah, so... Sorry, uh, Kurt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know if... Like, personally, I've been rocking the Unibear, of course, because we kind of, as a community, willed that into existence. Uh, so, yeah, I, I personally don't mind. Like, it's a freaking single-player game. Do you. Like, if this was, like, an online game where you could other, where, where you could see peop other people run around with the Unibear while you're trying to play a Viking game, then, sure, I, I get that that's kind of immersion-breaking. But, uh... Hey, you can also look at uh, look at it in a different way. Like, I will do it, so you don't have to do it yourself. And then you can still kind of get the enjoyment out of this freaking Drake or whatever it is in the water. Carrying me to the other side. While you in your game are just using horses. Because, like, I think it's cool that there are multiple different mounts because you're playing this game for 400 hours so sitting on a freaking horse for 400 hours not a lot of fun origins of course had the camel already uh origins or odyssey only had horses until they like at the bull mount and all that stuff Go. i think the next level for bird skins we might see like in the future is that they give like uh, our main character also different voice lines because now it's always Sunin, but This doesn't look like Sunin anymore So maybe it would be cool to get like a different voice line Hey Joyce good to see you as well Could the giant panther be for a lunar pack lunar new year? Oh, is it like the the year of the panda or something or the year year of the bear? Okay, so we have to start the the I'm gonna like uh, Ah, uh, because this also says, damn, there's like a lot of stats on this. Uh, increase speed on critical hits. Okay, so we have like a ton of boost if we have a critical hit, and we will immediately get a critical hit. By, I'm gonna like make sure that I'm not like doing something else. Okay. Now it's our time. Boom. Now I'm only critting. Yeah, and that's doing some quite quite some extra damage. And I think we can like do. Sprint attacks. Oh no, there's of course a cooldown. Oh yeah, we can do this. And now we do crits as well. Like you immediately see that my speed is like increased by a lot because I'm doing crits. I've changed to the close camera again for finishers. I thought it was uh, a nice change. Okay. Of course you can like do quite some other stuff on crits. Okay, now we have the crits again. Goodbye. Yeah, now we have to crit again. Feel feel like my speed is already pretty pretty great. Five seconds is actually pretty long with like a very f fast axe. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good armor set. But yeah, not nothing crazy like shooting rockets or something. Yes, where's the camel in fall? That's a good question. Feels like a wasted opportunity because, of course, they brought forward one of the uh, Izu uh, mounts, the the second helix pack that we saw in Origins. They they basically like reused that mount and brought it in. I think with the Izu knife pack. So what I want to do now uh, is go after some trophies that I still don't have, and one is. Skadi's hobby and for this we need to go down a freaking mountain and uh, escape perform a slide down the snow okay sounds like something we can do so for this we have to go over here and then over here Enjoying the break, saw the notification, so thought stopping by. Yeah, Joyce. 
enjoy. Get charged up, because next week... Uh, I, no, next week the craziness doesn't start yet, but... Uh, oh, damn. How am I getting there without, like, getting myself killed? Uh, let's try. Whee! I'm gonna survive. Uh... Yeah, because, like, in, in a few weeks' time, it's already Hogwarts Legacy, which is kind of crazy. But uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I, I really think this week is going to be kind of slow still with, with gaming news. I'm going to die. No. I remember, like, going here at launch, you would die from the jump. without Even with the breakfall skill. But they totally changed that. Okay, so we have to go there. Maybe we can, like... Uh, I think we can, like, survive. Juraptor is 100% confirmed No new game plus Yeah it's 100% confirmed Like they are really moving on Although like things have changed Like Mirage of course got delayed a couple of times okay, This looks like a good way I, of course, have to run and then... Okay, we have to do it for 150 meters. There's really one point in the whole game to do this trophy, damn son. And that's this point. Yeah, I think there are like a couple of those trophies in Valhalla where there's just one point in the game. Like, how are you supposed to figure that out without, like, a guide? But this, like, like, looks like a pretty good spot. Can you show the new mount? I missed it. Yes, then I will summon it in a moment. Let me first, real quick, try and get this going. Where are you at? Okay. I think in the image it kind of looks cooler in a way. But I, f I think they did they did a great job with like the... Oh, no, 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 no! With the... Uh, with the audio and stuff. The nils are pretty crazy too. Like, I've played a lot of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I don't think this, the monster where this armor is based on, was in that game yet. Okay, so is this like the spot? You need to sprint into it all day now. D all day down. Feels like, feels a lot longer than you imagine. Okay, I think this might be it then, right? It says... I think we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I, I. I know it. I should not like properly sprint or like properly slide. I should just like sprint. Yeah, it's like 150 meters, but I'm like being stopped. Yes, that's the point, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's also a Monster Hunter World sort of uh, tie-in. And of course, Rise is coming later on as well. Oh, that was like a... St it stopped there. I've never been good at snowboarding games. Let's try again. Oh! The 19th for Rise, yeah, on console, which is pretty wild. You gotta direct your... You gotta di direct yourself, it has to be one smooth move. This is not the right place?
I got like a video on the side here, but it kind of froze on me. <laughs> uh, let me check real quick. I'm going to... What the heck is Edge st telling me? Goodbye. Okay. I sometimes have that with Grow where it's like freezing on me. Yes, I got the amazing Mirage uh, background. It's of course the year of Mirage, which is kind of crazy. Okay, I think I, I found, uh, yeah, it has to be like a different spot. Okay, I think I found it. It has to be over here, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're going there. I got like a power picks video on the side here, so this should be it. Like I, I am like happy with the trophy. Like we always thought maybe we should do like trophy guides as well, but like stuff like this, uh, this I don't know if I was w would be able to figure this out. Okay, this looks like a way better spot. So we have to like go down here, I think here. Oh. Okay, let's just try. I hate that's like Ah! I think I got it. Oh, I, I think I was like, super close. I think I was super close. But I got stopped. Okay. Okay, we're going back up. I think I, I think we got it. Wonder if they're gonna reveal more characters from Mirage. On the website, two out of four are revealed, but two are hidden. Ooh, that's curious, Joyce. Do you have Thor's hammer? Yes, of course. Okay, I'm looking at the video right now, and I was almost there. Okay, you have to go to the left, on the left. Okay, you have to like dodge that huge sort of thing in there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try again. Go to the left here. Yeah! Woo. Nice. Okay. That's another one from the list. Um... Uh, Okay, let's go back to England for this one. Where we have to destroy boats. <laughs> yeah, I personally think, like, my prediction is, but I would love to be wrong, that they're really gonna get go quiet for Rift and then show it, like, way later. Uh, and then, like, in May or June. And then after the release, they'd be, like, a few months apart. On the, although, yeah, it has, of course, been announced. Like, they might change it up because Ubisoft has more games. So, maybe they want to, like, spend time on Avatar in May and then do do Mirage before that. But, uh, yeah, we will see. Uh, I think we have to go here. To uh, destroy some boats. Uh, 
it's su such a random trophy this. Let's go down. I prefer Gungnir. Versus uh Yeah, I think both I think it's like awesome that they had these super powerful god weapons. Where did they spawn my ship? Curse about this land, my friend. Oh did I I just used the horn. <laughs> I think I didn't even summon my ship. No. Yeah, there it is. With the awesome no, 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 no. Okay. With the awesome Egyptian cosmetics. I believe you have to be on easy to do it. You have to destroy five boats in under two minutes. And if we use this, uh, we see one, two. I think we have to go three. And there are like a, quite a lot of them here over here. So you got one, two, three, four. And there's like a fifth one over there. Two minutes. Yeah, do it on easy. We can like even go to story. <laughs> okay, maybe nightmare is not the best idea. Is the sound weird? Really? Because I, I think I changed that. Let me know if it's... Uh, thanks for noting, Cesarek. Appreciate you being here. Wait, that was an achievement. Yes. The River Delta for Essex also has way more small boats. Let me check. Is that this? Down between Wessex. Your mic is fine, but yeah, the the game sounds like it's behind a wall. Is it like fixed now? Happy New Year, Yor, and to the crew as well. Thanks, Mystic. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I don't think the difficulty matters how, how it's the damage boats. So is that like over here? Or Wessex? Sorry. Down between Wessex. So like over here? The triangle on the map. So like here? Okay, let's go here then. Thanks Escardius as always. I'm around power level 320 and on to the final Hampton Shark arc, but would you recommend doing Ireland and Pirates expansions first? I mean, you can do them, of course, first. I've seen some people already say, like, complete the game first. I would recommend that as well, I think. Okay, we got a small boat over here. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Is this a spot? Because I'm not seeing a lot. Or, or should I, like, go over here? That's probably like a good spot over there, right? Of course, with the draw distance, we have to get a little closer. So angry about New Game Plus, all those wasted hours. Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Especially that like Far Cry 6 got <laughs> did get it like the week after. And in that game, it's like way less needed. Because you can easily get like an assault rival that is almost the same as all the... I don't think this is a good spot. I think I'm at the wrong spot. Go, my eyes. No, down the map. Yeah, sorry. It's always hard. It's like here. Gonna wait. 
wait for this card, yes. Yes, okay, thank you, sorry. My bad, I'm gonna summon the ship here. Thanks, I did want to complete England before the expansions. Yeah, just do it. And did you complete the my mythical worlds already? <laughs> I actually did before finishing England, like way before. Okay, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna smash some small boats. I usually like it when trophies are like huge things that you should accomplish or like secrets you should find. Things like this are just kind of random. But sure, we're gonna do it. There's already a small boat over there, but we're, we're going to the legit spot. I think I yeah, put a marker there, so let's do hands-free. I mean, I personally think it's more fun to do the expansions maybe before finishing the game. Because I think the expansions like add quite some nice variety. Okay, we're gonna just do it. That's one. We got a new uh, crew member for a bit there. And, and like just focusing on, on England first. In my mind, like, at one point, it will get kind of way too similar. Oh, I think I, I need to, like, only break boats that people are actually using. Okay. Let's, uh, get this. I think we got it right, yeah. Let's do. That's three. Come on. Yeah, I missed that boat, but I'm not sure if that's if I can use that. Come on. No. Okay, we should probably get that one. Ah, I hate that when that happens. Okay, let's see if there's like another one close by. I think the two minutes are probably already over. There are way more here though. Yeah, you're right. This card just should make it easy. Do you play Elden Ring too, bro? Uh, <laughs> I played it a lot around launch but it was like one week after horizon and i prefer the horizon series maybe one day i will still go back there we go that wasn't that hard thanks this guardians for the tip those two minutes lasted pretty long so that's nice um but like firstly it's not really like a, a game for me um I I just can't really get into the FromSoft combat. I loved Sekiro though. I did almost finish Sekiro. Like I, I feel still need like the two final bosses or something. But yeah, I, I, I quit that game because another game was coming out. I think it was Days Gone. And it's really hard to of course go back to a game like that where it's like all about skill. But yeah, then doing, a fr then doing Elden Ring, it's just... I don't know. Uh, I'm also just not a real huge fan of the sort of horror worlds or something i didn't like the enemies in bloodborne either so yeah that that isn't really helping but i still want to like play it play it because i do think it will have a huge impact on the industry and yeah i think it will be like just interesting to kind of look at what they did and yeah as like an open world fan i i, I should probably go back but i will it will happen at one point. Maybe if the DLC launch in like a quiet time, I will jump back into the game to prepare for that or something. Okay, so we're in the settlement and you know what that means. There are a million of these spots where you need to put settlement decorations down. Now, of course, 
I've been playing this game for a freaking while, but there should be like one or a few of these decoration spots that I just did not use yet. So I got like a map on my other monitor. So yeah, let's just take a look. There should be like near the longhouse, there should be like a spot that doesn't look too familiar to me. So I, that's, yeah, I think this is it. This might be the spot that I did not use yet. So this should be an easy trophy if we if we probably just put something there, then uh, we are good to go. Because I've just been rocket uh, using the same settlement spots. B Rando, I I'm surprised you haven't achieved 100% in this game yet. Yeah, that's like I focus a lot on just things that I like to do in this game. Which, of course, is a lot. And then I always kind of save the, the, yeah, more boring tasks. I, I would say, let, what, let's see what we will. Let's put the Osgardian guardian lamp here. Because, of course, it lets you make cool photo mode shots. We, of course, should... You can like completely. Okay, I'm obviously not a pro, but yeah, it seems like we have to at least do. We have we have a few more to go. Let's uh, use our bird again to scout. I see another spot over there, but I think I used that already, or did I not? Yeah, okay. There's like an Abstergo freaking soldier statue over there. Uh, and that is... This. Okay, we're gonna... I think it must be like over here somewhere. Okay, we got the Abstergo soldier statue over here. And there should be like another one close by. We're just gonna walk that way. On our mount. The funny part, I personally unlocked it just random doing the story. Nice. That's pretty crazy. You've been like bashing ships. Okay, so we got like one over here. There should be like another one close by. Maybe we can... Oh, here. I think I haven't used this one yet. There's so many. Bling bling. Still. Damn. 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 I really hope the settlement decorations don't come back in the next game. Or like the settlement barrier. There's like another one. All the way to the right here. And I'm sh I, I I totally think I haven't used that one. It's like this one. But that's still not the final one. Damn. Um. Uh, okay. There are like. Uh, this also looks like one I haven't used yet. Or maybe they like remove them. I I'm not sure. I think at one point they, I think, removed some settlement decorations. Yeah, this is probably a settlement decoration as well. Right? Yeah, okay. okay. Let's go all the way. But there's like another one close by. Yeah, that's go. the Oscar. Or is that the one I mean? You got this one and you got that one. Okay, there's... Okay, there's nothing in the festival area, of course. So, there's another one over here. Then there's another one. A 
AZ turned into the Witcher. I mean, when, when we of course saw the Druids DLC, where, when we would fight actual well werewolves, then yes. And personally, like, I think that's fine if a game is like as long as this to have some magical elements. Otherwise, it will be kind of it will be kind of boring fighting soldiers all the time. Okay, so damn. Um, this one is near the longhouse, so that's the one over there. I already got that one over there. There are like three over here. This is like the most boring trophy ever, but hey, I don't think I've ever used this one. This is hiding in plain sight. Let's put a red dragon over here. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. This one was pretty well hidden. That well, looks pretty nice to have it... Uh, have it like that. That's basically the... <gasps> that's basically the same. Okay, well. That's another one of the list. And that's why I, I like to save these trophies. I think it's actual, actually more fun to do this. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna, like... Th this one is pretty, pretty sad that I did not complete this one yet. Okay, I I'm going to this location... Guess which trophy this is, if you're like in the know, if you like know the trophies. And this shows you that like one of the features, I'm gonna like give you some hints. One of the features that they, I think around the reveal, so during the, um, um, during the, when the cinematic dropped, they were like, it's coming back. And we were all like, awesome. Turns out I never really used it because I still don't have this trophy. But yeah. Curious if you know which one I'm talking about. How do you like the Monster Hunter costume? Uh, I think it looks... Oh wow, the cape. I didn't see the cape yet, but that's pretty awesome. It's like one of the only capes, apart from le uh, legacy outfits, that, that has a cape like this. Which is kind of cool. I, I'm, I think I, I might like this more than just like... Uh, having the having the hood like w or w without the cape, I think this is actually kind of cool because I still like the cape. I think the the other like the regular capes are just very beefy. Because it is like kind of it is stuck on your character, like it is very stuck. There are not like a lot of physics. Crowd blending, yes. Oh, the Cairn. Yeah, the Cairn is the best trophy. Oh, my God. I'm not in the mood for that. Yeah, I saw some people say it already. Hello, guys. Let me... Can I blend in? Keep going, please. Oh, my God. I never used it. Or or it or or it has to be that these freaking guards or that, that that the guards have to walk past you. Like I I'm not sure if this if this trophy also works if you go into a camp because I can't believe I totally think I used that once, but like the trophies don't lie, so maybe I never used it. Oh my god. That's pretty bad. Okay, uh let's move on. Oh yeah, we have to uh, we have to fly. We have to fly. Let's see. Uh, so that is over, over here, and then over here. How do you get this? Hey, Hyperboom, good to see you as always. Uh, this is the new Monster Hunter armor. So Ubisoft has been doing uh, some uh, promotions, some crossovers, as they uh, are of course called. Starting with Destiny and now Monster Hunter. So, it is a paid armor set, of course. Oh, sorry, Ronald. I freaking forgot your first one. Let me go back. Sorry, Ronald. I'm going back to your... I was, like, really busy busting ships. I have a feeling we might get at least one or two more updates for Far Cry 6. Mainly for two reasons. One. What if rumors saying true uh, about 7, we might be a while... Uh, that might be a while. 6 it's, it still has to arrive on Steam. Then Ronald continues because he's super generous and thanks always for your support. Which is really shocking since the other Far Cry games are on Steam. Ronald, that's not true though. Like, I mean, it's true that the other Far Cry games are on Steam. 
But it's not shocking that 6 is not on Steam because Ubisoft at one point, I think with... After Odyssey, so at Breakpoint, I think Breakpoint is not on Steam either. So at Breakpoint, so in 2019, they decided, because that was kind of a trend back then, where publishers were like, oh, Steam is like a very bad deal for us. So... Um, okay, I think it's like the one over here. Um, Steam is like a very bad deal um, for us. Like you get 70-30 as publishers. And on console, they like think that's more like um, justified because on console like Sony has to sell people on the PlayStation Microsoft has to sell people on the PlayStation so it makes more sense that Sony and Microsoft take more money from that because they're usually taking a loss on the console they're marketing the console etc etc while on PC Valve is not like having people freaking uh, yeah, push there, people yeah. to buy a PS PC. They they are just like they, they they just have like a free program, free app you can download, and that's where they take the seventy thirty. So I get that. Yet, Epic Game Store it's still there, but it's it hasn't really taken off, of course. So Ubisoft is coming back to Steam now. This person has to throw me. No, not that. Throw me. I'm trouble. Wow, well, nice. Um, so yeah, Ronald, going back to you. Do you think AC, Watch Dogs, and Far Cry all exist in the same universe? I've been hearing speculation for a long time. So going back to your first thing, I also think there's more going on with Far Cry 6, the universe. And I think the biggest reason is, and, and that is something that Joyce actually... I, I still need to get the artifact. Uh, that Joyce actually came up with, or like spotted. But that's that the voice actor behind Juan Cortez, my favorite character from that game, um, is still doing voice lines. He was doing them in June, and he was doing them in November. So I personally think they're still doing a game where he is a character, and I still think that's the Voss game. So I still think we're getting that, and I would not be surprised if we get that in 2023. That's my wild prediction. But apart from that, um, like I would not be surprised if they're doing a Far Cry showcase similar to Assassin's Creed, because they kind of want Far Cry to be as big as uh, as Assassin's Creed and the Tom Clancy games. But do I think they're all in the same universe? No. I mean, they have been, like, teasing that. I think uh, in Origins, there was an image of Aiden Pierce on, like, a like on the computer. You saw, like, an image of Aiden Pierce on the street, I think. Which kind of hinted at a, 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 a similar universe. We, of course, got Darcy, which was non-canon in Watch Dogs Legion. But I don't, I don't think, like, they are even having a hard time connecting all these uh, street games. So they're not going to connect all the freaking Far Cry and Watch Dogs games. Also because, like, Far Cry 5 destroyed the world. And Far Cry 6 has still, like, boom, boom. How did the boom, boom survive? Like, there are, like, a lot of re uh, questions. Uh, and, yeah. So, I, I don't think we should, like, really look into that. Hope that answers your questions. And I appreciate your donations, always. York, can you show the young Ezio outfit, please? Yes, sorry. Uh, that my rambling is over. Let's uh, quickly show it. Oh, for some reason. Oh, oh well, I'm like, I wanted to like equip the full set. But that's of course not necessary. Okay, this looks very, very scary. Let's quickly do this. Yeah, I think this outfit looks really cool. And again, the cape is awesome as well. There's no light. There's no light. I mean, I personally think... If they, like, make a Watch Dogs game that is basically modern-day... Um, modern-day Assassin's Creed game. Which, of course... Like, in terms of gameplay and stuff, they have the hacking going on. It's, of course, already kind of there. But if they really, like, go crazy on it... What we really saw, uh, in terms of, like, a creator and fuse... Is that Darcy, like, the modern-day Assassin character they added... And that mission and stuff... A lot of people love that. 
and the takedowns were awesome. So I totally think that if they make like a modern day only Assassin's Creed game and call it Watch Dogs, I think that would be crazy. Um, but do we still have some other trophies that we can get? Or 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 is or are we going to continue next week? Because I am liking the sort of trophy thing here. Old treasure hunt. Ronald is saying if they st stated that the different endings in five created two different timelines, one made New Dawn and the other made six. Like that's that that doesn't make sense. The nuclear bomb in Far Cry Five created two timelines. Like that tells to me like that they don't want to, they don't want. With the idea from one studio because Montreal of course made Far Cry 5 to impact Toronto which makes sense because it kind of sucks if you're like uh, you're like here you're tasked to work on this brand new game and then they are like oh yeah but in that other game we destroyed the world so sorry you can't really do a thing um, that kind sucks so like I don't think they're in the same universe or and maybe they are but we will probably they will probably not like really go crazy on that because then I think people on Reddit will go crazy and find things that don't make sense, etc. Hey, Joy May. Or Joe, should I say. Cool outfit. Thanks, Joe. Hope I pronounced your name right. Um, yes, a dragon armor dude is totally normal between the monks. <laughs> things are getting kind of crazy. I think I'm going to continue my trophy hunt next week. I think we're close to the full, full trophies, though. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a great time. First stream of 2023. Next week we're back. Um, I'm gonna like go quickly back to the settlement. Next week we're back with content as well. We're kind of taking it slow this week um, because starting next week, like I I think we're getting like a PlayStation showcase even like in the next month or so, maybe more, but like but maybe longer. But like, they still have PlayStation VR 2. They have a lot of other stuff to talk about. They said, hey, we're hearing Horizon DLC news. Or, like, an update on um, the, uh, the Burning Shores very soon. That was more than a month ago. So, or it was actually a month ago. But that's still kind of crazy. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll be back next week. And I also want to do some other streams, of course, when they make sense. There are some big games coming out. For Spoken, I probably want to stream that. as like the big first open world game. Maybe one of us will stream Dead Space. Because why not? It looks kind of cool. And then Hogwarts Legacy will be streaming that a lot. February 7th. Like in a month time. Almost a month. Hogwarts Legacy is coming out. I'm sure they will do another stream for that. Um, crazy times. Crazy times. Platinum Odyssey. I already did Thanks, Kata, for joining. I hope, Ronald. Each Far Cry game is set in its own universe. Like, yeah, it's set in its own universe. So, then I don't think the three separate games are in the same universe, if that makes sense. If even Far Cry is in different universes. Okay. That was it. I'm gonna chill out for another few days. Finish Crisis Core. Um, I'm watching Mr. Robot. Don't spoil, please. But I'm in season one. Almost finished that. It's really, really good. And, uh, yeah. 